Good afternoon, uh, Derek. Matheus Ornelas from Time of Brazil. Uh, congratulations for your pro day and for going for the NFL draft. Uh, in a year like 2020, when you don't have the combine and you have all the problems with the, with the COVID, how, how important is for your players having the, in your case, having the senior bowl and having the pro day today for show for the scouts? Oh, um, well, well, first, it's, it's even a blessing to be able to go to the senior bowl. I think that helps a lot of players uh, get them in front of scouts, in front of teams, um, just the atmosphere itself. Um, combine being being canceled. Uh, the calendar was, you know, a help for, for most of us that was invited because you had the extra time to, you know, prepare for pro day. Um, I think it all paid off um, the extra time, um, extra time for your trainers to work with you and and, and take care of these nick night things. So, um I think it was an all-around blessing for, for all this. So. Okay, Edward. Yeah, hey, Derek. I just wanted to – were you happy with your numbers? I saw the numbers you posted today. And then secondly, um, I've seen some reports that list you kind of as a, uh, a third-day draft steal. Do you feel like you're, you're, you know, you're better than that? Or you know, how do you feel about your expectations going into the draft? Uh, I do uh, feel like I'm better than that, but at the same time, it's, I like the process take care of itself. Um, it's, it's all in God's plan. So for me, it really doesn't matter. I just you know want to make a team and, and be the best I can be. So I think my football, my best football is yet to come. So. And, and then you're, you're saying, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I was just going to follow up about your numbers today. Were you happy with what you did uh, earlier this morning with your, your uh, prayer yeah, day? Yeah, I was, I was excited about them. Um, and there's always room to improve, but I think that I did I needed to do so. Thank you. Okay, Dylan Sanders. Uh, what is something about your game that you think gets overlooked uh, because of other factors that you bring? Uh, before today, I would just say my speed. Um, I think that was the the most the most questionable thing that and and being able to drop in coverage. Um, so I think I covered that today. So. Okay, John Shearer. Hey, Derek, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing pretty well. I'm actually uh, on my lunch talking to you. So, <laughs> okay. um, so I'm curious uh, what you feel your biggest strengths are and what your biggest weaknesses are going into the NFL draft. Thank you. Um, biggest strength, uh, just, I would say just a versatile player, uh, strong, explosive, fast, quick, um, a leader. Um, weaknesses, uh, that's that's kind of hard. I would just say things I need to work on. I would just say just technique and NFL and just transferring from, from pro, being a pro, being a college player to being a pro, so. Okay, Zach Pearson. Hey, Derek, uh, what did you take away from uh, being down in Mobile at the Senior Bowl and where have NFL teams told you they'd like you to play at? Is it uh, more the edge, um, outside linebacker, or inside linebacker? Um, what I took from Senior Bowl is just, you no, know, I just honestly, really just the opportunity to be out there, get around great players. Um, and you kind of learn from, from those players also. I think everybody learns from everyone else. Um, getting in front of those coaches, even the, you know, the means that we had, the interviews were, was amazing. Um, a great opportunity. Um, really, they asked me what, what I see myself playing, and I always told them I see myself playing inside linebacker, but also uh, outside linebacker is great, too. I'm a versatile player, so I think that's what I bring to the table. Okay, Mike Tarman. Hey, Derek. How you doing? Good. Hey, just um, it's kind of the thought process of coming out now. I mean, how much did you consider coming back to Purdue, and just how much has Purdue kind of helped you and prepared prepared you to get to go to the next step here um i had i did have uh minor thoughts about coming back um throughout the process but i will honestly have to give it up to my agent my agent is really the one that you know put in my head and, and just talking to him made me realize that i have a good person good person behind me um and so that's why i really decided to leave um everything's working out he's great to me you know he does nothing but put full effort into me so I'm, I'm glad I made that decision and Purdue itself just having you know those guys behind me and being a leader and you know having those coaches um have your back and have your best interest for me was was good so I think that my experience Purdue was really made me who the person I am today so 
Okay, Tom Deanhart. Hey, Derek, what are you going to do between now and the draft? I'm getting in football shape. Um, I'm in training shape, but definitely getting in football shape. Um, keep, a, keep a straight head and continue to do what I do, being a good person um, and, and becoming a better athlete from, from now to then. So, Have any teams been in touch with you more than others? Uh, uh, they, uh, it's about the same. Um, I've talked to a lot of guys. It's, it's just what it is. Um, I wouldn't say more than others. It was kind of, it's, Everything's kind of been the same. It's just It's been really every day talking to someone new. So.